Hello everyone, my name is Keith, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a Premiere Pro tip, and that is to export multiple sequences at once. One of the beauties of Premiere Pro is that you don't have to work on one edit, export it, and then wait for that to export, and then go to your next project, and then wait for that to export, and then go to your next project. You can just queue all of these up and batch export them at once, and you don't have to be by your computer. You can walk out of the office. I tend to do this, uh, queue up a few jobs, and then just go to bed. So this really does save a lot of time. And if you are doing multiple, you know, if you're doing a motion graphics edit, a drone video, and then you need to convert other video to ProRes, for example, you can do multiple jobs. They don't all have to be the same codecs even, or video size or frame rate. It's really a great flexible tool and it does save you a lot of time if you know how to use it correctly. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and Media Encoder and get started. Jumping into Premiere Pro, I've opened up one of my next YouTube videos about the Mavic 2 picture profiles, and I have two sequences here, one of the picture profile samples and one of all of my picture profile samples. So I would like to export both of these sequences, and this is a great use case for batch exporting sequences to media encoder. So to do that, you can press, um, you can go to your sequence and press command M or go to file export media. And when your export settings dialog box comes up, instead of selecting your settings here and selecting export, we can select Q and that will open up our media encoder and our job will be queued right here. So right now I have this being exported as a QuickTime video and it will be a ProRes 422 high quality to my desktop. So that is totally fine for that one. And if we want to queue more jobs, we can come back to Premiere Pro, click on another sequence and hit Command M and instead of hitting export here again, we're going to queue it and we're going to load this into Media Encoder. So Media Encoder loads this next job and it is again a ProRes QuickTime 422 high quality and it is going straight to the desktop and that is totally fine. And if we have other files that we would like to convert here, like if we go out and shoot 4K drone footage and we want to play it back on our computer, we can convert that to ProRes 422 again and it would play back a little bit smoother because it is unpacking that H.265 or H.264 compression and playing back in an uncompressed file format. Whenever we're ready to start encoding our footage and we have all of our jobs queued up, we can now hit this play button, which is to start rendering all of our footage. And when we start rendering, it will start with the first item. And when this is completed, it will automatically go to the second, third, fourth, and etc. So that is how to batch export multiple sequences with Premiere Pro and Media Encoder. This is one of my favorite techniques. I like to edit a few different videos during the day and wait to export them so my computer isn't tied up exporting and I can just go straight to the next job. But at the end of the day, I can just leave my computer on overnight and batch export all of my sequences that I was editing during the day. And even better, if I went out in the morning and shot some drone footage, for example, and I need to convert it to ProRes to edit it on my Mac easily, I can also queue those jobs up as well. And it makes everything just seamless. You know, it doesn't have to be all 1080p footage. It can be 1080p, 2K, and 4K at different frame rates even. So just having the flexibility to export anything or convert anything is really powerful with Media Encoder. So thank you guys for sticking around to the end. Feel free to give this video a like, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one.